Welcome to the file management activity. This lesson will focus on being organized on your computer. What you don't want is a desktop that looks like this. On the other hand, you want your desktop to look like this. So let's go ahead and get started. What you want to do is go to your desktop, right click and choose new folder. Type in computer design. Once you've created that computer design folder, go ahead and open that folder and you're going to make a variety of folders within the computer design folder. I'm going to right click and choose new folder and I will type in YouTube. I will right click again and choose new folder and I'm going to type in Word. This will be for any Microsoft Word projects you work on. You could store it in that folder. I will then right click and choose new again and this folder will be PowerPoint. And I'll make another folder and this one will be images. Anytime you get an image off the internet or a photo you might take, you want to go ahead and put it in the images folder because it's a logical location to put it. And then go ahead and right click and choose new and type in sound. You could go ahead and close that folder out. Now you're going to go to the internet and go to Google. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on the images option. Go ahead and type in one of your favorite animals. In my case, I'll do polar bear. I do want to point out when you're doing an image search, make sure that the safe search is on. If you look in the upper right corner where it says safe search, you want to make sure that filter explicit results is checked off. This should minimize you seeing inappropriate images. Now I'm going to choose tools and size. I want to get a large image. I also want the image to be copyright friendly, so I will choose usage rights and I will choose labeled for reuse with modification. That way, if I ever want, I can do modifications to that image. So I'll go ahead and locate an image that I want to save. I'm going to click on the image to get the larger image. Now notice that image is really small. I want the big image. So I can choose view image and make sure the quality is good. These are really good quality images and I'm not finding the image that I wanted originally, but this one's cute, so I'll go ahead and right click and choose Save Image As. I will go to that desktop folder. It's called Computer Design. I will open up that folder. I will open up Images, and do make sure that you change the name. So it's a polar bear. I don't need all those words, so I'll just type in polar bear, and I will choose Save. I want to point out that when I went to locate that image in my Images folder, it is not available to me. If you look at the name, it says .jpg exclamation D. I want to right click and I'm going to choose rename. This is really important. And I'm going to go ahead and just get rid of all that. So the extension is .jpg. I click enter. I click yes. And now the image is available. This could happen to you down the road. So you want to be aware of that. I'm now going to open up Microsoft Word. So if I go to the search area at the bottom of my screen, I can type in Word and Word should pop up. So I'll open up Microsoft Word. When this window pops up, I want to definitely click on blank document. Now you're not going to add anything to this Word document. I just want to take you through the motions of saving these in the proper location and naming them. So I will choose File, Save As. I will then choose Computer. I will locate the desktop, locate that computer design folder, Word, and I'm going to name it Story and click Save. I will now close it out. Now if I go to my computer design folder, you should have an image right now in your folder and you should have a Word document called Story in your folder. I'm now going to go to the bottom. I will start typing in PowerPoint. Notice it pops up. I will select PowerPoint to open it up. In this case, I will just select a blank presentation with that blank. PowerPoint presentation opened. I'm just going to save it and name it. You don't need to add anything. I will choose File, Save As. I will select Computer, Desktop, Computer Design Folder, and PowerPoint. I will name this Cool Images. I'm going to close that out. And finally, for the last part of this assignment, you're going to add two YouTube videos in your YouTube folder. Be sure you have discipline before you go to YouTube. You don't need more than five minutes to find videos. So you're going to open up that computer design folder, open up YouTube, and you're going to make this window smaller by dragging it. Now if you can't drag it, you need to click on that square in the upper right corner. 
So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make this window smaller. I'm going to go to YouTube at this time and I'm going to locate one of my favorite songs on YouTube. So I located Beautiful Day by U2. It's an appropriate video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a shortcut to this video in my YouTube folder. So I'll make this smaller. Go ahead and move the window next to the other window. And what you do is you click on the icon, in this case next to Secure, there's going to be a little icon you want to drag and drop it into that folder. Now I'm just going to go ahead and right click and rename and call it Beautiful Day. Then hit Enter. I'm now going to go to YouTube and find a video of my favorite animal. I'm going to type in Polar Bear Cubs. And here's one by National Geographic. I'll go ahead and open it up. And it's a good video. You know National Geographic does a good job. So I'm going to go ahead and drag that icon into the YouTube folder. And I'm going to right click and I'm going to call it Polar Bear. This concludes the session on how to get started being organized on your computer. Until next time, you have a wonderful day.